Hi guys, this is pra Neil Pradeep here. So in this video, we will talk about how you can install the latest version of Gingerbread, that's double X JVT firmware, on your Samsung Galaxy S GT i9000. So this, as you can see, that www.androidadvices.com is a site. So from here, you need to first up go to the article where that's listed. Go to Samsung category. And now next up, check Galaxy S i9000 category. So this, these are all the articles which are listed here, which will tell you about how you can install the latest version of firmware and the routing articles. So here's, so this one is the article. So let's check out how you can install the same on your Galaxy S GTI and Authorizing phone. So before that, you need to follow all the instructions which are listed over here carefully. So that you'll not be able to break. So there's a page selection. You need to select the page to go to the next page. So these are all the listed instructions which are there. You need to follow them. So in page number three, first up you need to download this zip file, which is this one. So once you save it, so it will be downloaded in your computer. Since we already downloaded it, so we are not downloading it right now. So let's cancel that. So these are the files which you'll be getting it once you have downloaded this and unzipped it. Please note that in the process of unzipping, it will ask you for the password and you need to enter the password as androidadvices.com, all in small letters. So first up, you need to open the Odin. So here, okay, this is the Odin. So now next up, you need to connect the phone. This is a Galaxy S GT i9000 phone. Currently I have switched it off so that now I can enter into the download mode. So the download mode can be entered by pressing down the volume button, home key, home key and then power on. So this is a download mode you are seeing on screen. So as soon as the download mode is switched on in your phone, just connect the same with the help of USB cable. So there you go. As you connect it, you'll see that this IDCOM lamp will glow yellow. So next up, you need to select the PIT file first up. That's this one. And after that, you need to select the PDA. That is a code one, code something like that. And after that phone, you need to select the phone corresponding file for the phone. And after that, you need to select the CSC that is this one so once you select all this ensure that you have selected all the files correctly otherwise you will end up breaking your phone also one of the most important thing is the options kindly don't take or never take the repartition option unless and until specified auto reboots should be taken if reset time should be taken and all other options should be matched with the one which you are currently watching it on the video so once you have selected all the files check with the idcom section that's turned yellow or not all you need to do is just to click on start so here you go firmware has been started for the flashing so you can see that here the factory yfs and all all the instructions will be there it will hardly take seven to five minutes or five to seven minutes or maybe sometimes higher than that or maybe lesser than that. It all depends upon the current firmware which is being installed in your phone. Please note that never interrupt the connection because if you try to interrupt it, then you may end up breaking the phone. So still the firmware is being updated as we check on. As you can see that all the messages are being listed. That's factory yfs.rfs, param.rfs. These are the different functionalities of the phone which are being clashed and meanwhile you can also see that the progress bar is being shown in the phone. So it will signify that how much percentage of the firmware update has been done. So once the firmware update 
is done you will see that the phone will be restarting on its own and ensure that you have followed each and every single instruction which is mentioned in the article which is at www.androidadvisors.com or else you may end up breaking the phone so modem.bin is flashing right now so as you can see that in the message as well it will be showing what the process it's undergoing it so now let's see the progress bar where it is so this is a progress bar which you are seeing currently so here it is the process is almost completed it's just now finalizing the data so here it is the reset signal has been come in the Odin and the phone you can see that an array of processes will be done So as you can see that copying it's currently copying the media files kindly don't unplug the usb cable until unless you see the home screen in your computer so now it's rebooting so we'll just wait for some time till the device gets boot stop completely so here it is, the device has been booted successfully. Now the S logo will be flashing. Uh, many, of the custom, many of the users have reported that the S logo keeps on hanging for the pretty long time. You need to ensure that it sometimes may flash even for 2 to 3 minutes. So you need to ensure that you are, keep your patience on this logo till the phone switches on to its home screen mode and also at this point of time the USB cable shouldn't be removed it should be kept connected until unless you see the home screen on your computer and also in this process you need to turn off all the important tools like Kai's antivirus and all otherwise it may end up breaking your phone or else it may hamper the firmware update process as you can see that still the S logo is being flashed yeah so here it is so now next up you need, it will be it's asking for the on screen keyboard settings just tap on next that's internet connectivity option is being asked now just click on next setting up Wi-Fi all you can do this at a later stage it's Google location next then learn more okay next so It will be coming up. The home screen will be coming up. Since the USB cable is connected, it's directly asking me to connect with the computer. So we, all we can now you we can do is we can just pull off this USB cable. So here it is. There's a latest firmware for the gingerbread that's double XJVT firmware. So to check it whether the firmware has been successfully updated or not, first up you need to go to the applications. Then after that you need to find an icon for the settings in the settings at the bottom of the page settings page you'll be finding an option called about phone now in the about phone you'll see that the firmware is xxjvt here it is so that's it the firmware has been successfully updated stay tuned to android devices for more just in case if you're having any of the issues do let us know in the comment section and we'll be able to solve all of them as soon as possible. Thanks.